up and good morning and welcome to a new Buff Bunny collection review. I don't actually know if this top is meant to be worn as a gym top, but that's exactly what we're doing today. This is the heart on your sleeve top. It's completely mesh. Paired it with an old Buff Bunny Rosa bra, some athlete shorts. And when we get back, I have a whole bunch of other new stuff I want to review. This stuff is launching Saturday the 22nd at 1 p.m. Central Time. We've got some new fabrics, colors that we got a squat test. And then this is like a blazer and pant set made out of active wear material, so that's exciting. I just did some cardio on the Stairmaster, and then I moved on to my leg day. Also, here's what you do if people aren't social distancing at the gym, just roundhouse kick to the back of the head. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Tyler was actually there first, but. Honestly, I picked this to wear first in the video because I was like, it's kind of weird, kind of strange, kind of different. It's low key my favorite thing in the whole entire collection. Is that a bug? No, sir. Like, I love it so much, I'm gonna go put it in the wash so I can wear it the rest of the video. This top is not getting the hype it deserves. So the night before the launch, and they've only posted about it one time. There's the white one. She looks phenomenal in it. Here's why I'm so passionate about this top though. I've been doing active wear reviews for a long time. I've tried thousands of items from hundreds of brands. And at this point, everything's been done before. Every silhouette, every fit, even most prints and contours. But when brands get creative with fabric and texture and technology, that's my jam. And this is honestly so different from anything that I own. First of all, it feels like you're not even wearing a shirt, which is incredible. And it's crazy. It's almost like a tights material, which downside is I guess it could get a little bit snaggy. Like there's some tiny little spots where I already did. Obviously it's not going to show or hold on to sweat at all. And especially in this black, it's just ultra flattering. It's really soft and stretchy. So it just moves with your body really well. And it doesn't like dig into your neck. Sometimes high neck workout tops kind of do that. And the fact that they were able to get this embroidery detail on this stretchy mesh fabric is actually really impressive. I didn't even know that was a thing that was possible. So normally I'm not a words on my clothes kind of person. You let me know what you think about this. I think it's because it's in French that it adds the, oh, where's my camera? That it adds this like elegance to it. It actually says, my love, don't apologize for being unapologetically yourself. The most beautiful people wear their heart on their sleeves and are not afraid to show it. Okay, I need I need more of this top. Heidi, Beverly, guys at Buff Bunny. We keep the heart on the sleeve. But imagine this in like a dark maroon for fall or winter or like a dark green. Maybe do some with like a different design. Crop tops, short sleeves. We're onto something. I need you to buy this shirt. I need somebody to validate my feelings. All right, now that I've hyped the heck out of this shirt, let's talk about something that I'm a little less sure of, the suit. Like a year or so ago, Buff Bunny started dabbling in casual wear, which I am here for. A lot of active wear brands are doing that and I'm not mad about it because they're taking the features that we love about activewear and bringing them into every other aspect of our lives, <laughs> like dresses, swimwear. Well, kind of the swimwear. When you... Are you seeing this? No, like really, it looks like it got like peed on or something. Is this for real right now? Are you naked? Look at this swimsuit. Are you kidding? <laughs> and now your work clothes. I have very mixed feelings about it. It is $68. So not particularly cheap. It's made from nylon spandex. It's literally a jacket made out of legging material. It has a bit of a sheen to it. It is a brilliant idea. The fabric is just so slick and stretchy that it doesn't drape and fit like a blazer is supposed to. It moves with your body in kind of an awkward way. And then Tyler was constantly having to fix the lapels because the fabric's just so slippery that they don't stay like perfectly folded into place. I mean, it's insanely comfortable. And if you tend to get like hot and sweaty in jackets like this, this fabric's great. I don't hate it. I really don't. I just think it needs some tweaking. I think maybe I would have preferred to go a size down and that would have helped. I'm a little bit of a harsh critic on that jacket because about a year ago, I bought this blazer from Carbon 38. The fit is totally different. This is a medium. So first of all, it's like on the looser side on me, but it's meant to have more of like a draping effect, but it just has so much structure to it. But at the same time, it's a very lightweight material. This one's a little bit stretchy, but it's, it's also the little things, like looking at the seams on the inside of the Carbon 38 jacket versus the Buff Bunny jacket. How much was this? I feel like this one was very expensive. Stop, did I pay that much for it? <laughs> no wonder I like it. Stop it. Okay, I paid $258 for this. It's currently on sale for uh, $78, so. 
<laughs> the pants though. They're so classy looking, but they literally feel like leggings. They're so awesome. They're made from that same nylon spandex material, but it just, it works a lot better with the pants. These ones are actually fitted really nicely. I feel like they hugged in all the right places. They actually came out with two versions of these. There was one that had a zipper down the front, which they, I guess, decided they're not releasing, but these ones have the zipper on the side, which I absolutely love. It just helps give the front of the pant more like a seamless look. I mean, like there's still a seam, but there's no like weird bulks or folds or anything. And the back is so cute. The stitching and then the pockets are fake, but the front ones are real. The front pockets are real. My only complaint that I can possibly think of is they're a tiny bit short on me. Like if they were two inches longer, I think they would be perfect for me. I think I do like the look of them rolled up a little bit on me personally. Do you want to come be in this? Come here. Hi, welcome to the video. Well, that's the wrong way. Can you see ya? <laughs> Back to activewear. <laughs> if you're balling on a budget and you're feeling extremely overwhelmed by this launch, cause hi, I am, look at all this stuff that is gonna be available. I'm going to give you the number one thing that I think is worth buying from this launch. And if you're a first time Buff Bunny collection customer, I think you're going to be very happy with this set. The Legacy Legging and the Revolution Sports Bra. Um, <laughs> these sold out instantly the last time that they launched. They have the removable cup pads on the inside. And then the bottom has that long Long line look to it, a really seamless feel. Back is beautiful with this little crisscross design. It's a solid medium support sports bra, really good coverage. It doesn't pinch or dig in anywhere. I wear size small on these, they're very true to size. If you're between, it just depends on how you like your sports bras to fit. If you want that more snug supportive feeling, you could go down. These leggings, oh my goodness. For my workouts, I tend to lean more towards like matte or slick performance type feel fabric rather than that super brushed material. This is a soft fabric that I do love to work out in. It's just slightly brushed, so it's not going to pill or collect lint and hair and stuff quite as bad as some other fabric. And then it does a great job of wicking your sweat away and drying really fast. This like speckly polka dotty pattern is my favorite print. <laughs> I posted this on my story when I first got it and a bunch of people messaged me and they're like, isn't that the exact same thing? as the Do You Even Speckle print. It's pretty darn close, I will say, but it is also pretty darn close too. It's a pretty standard type of print. The Do You Even's definitely the closest, but even if you put them side by side, you can tell they're a little bit different. The Do You Even is also more of like that slick, performance material. And then they do have the seam at the top of the waistband. I particularly like the Buff Bunny ones, not just because of the feel of the fabric, but they do not have a front seam, which is amazing. Honestly, in a print like this, it really doesn't matter. Like prints camouflage that pretty well, but in the solid leggings, that makes such a big difference. And then my absolute favorite part of these leggings is the back. The seams are so flattering. I just love little details like that, that just cinch in your waist and make your booty pop, but it's not in like a gimmicky way. They're a full length legging. I'm about 5'8", so you can kind of use that for reference. And now for the ultimate squat test. So I've been using this little guy. I call it the Shiro meter. I actually got the idea of this thing from Buff Bunny Collection. I saw them using it. And it basically measures how much light is let through a legging when it's completely stretched out. I have my nude seamless underwear. The problem with this is most leggings, you're obviously not really gonna be able to see this unless it's like sheer, sheer. So we're also, testing out these obnoxious printed. Like obviously nobody's gonna wear these to the gym, but just gives you a better visual, you know? So these get a 92.6%. So these, especially in this print, you are totally good to go. They're also coming in L Woods. How cute is that name? I just realized. <laughs> business blue and onyx black. And then kind of weird, but the Revolution bra is coming in the business blue, the onyx black. And then it's actually coming in the Excel lime green rather than the L Woods pink. These leggings in that green would have been so pretty. They did make some shorts out of that color and they have said that they're a little bit sheer. So I wonder if that's why they didn't do leggings in them. So like I said, if you're only gonna get one thing, you will not regret. Something you will regret. <laughs> How's that transition? <laughs> I'm so bummed because this was the set that I was honestly looking forward to the most. Because like I said, I'm all about new textures, new things. So this is the supply top and the demand legging. The texture on these leggings is so unique. It's ribbed, but it's like squiggly ribs. <laughs> it's just really plushy and stretchy. You know what that reminds me of? What? Okay, it kind of, yeah. <laughs> now put that on. Put the rag on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a thing these days. Oh really? Tops like that. And this yellow is absolutely adorable. It's called Glow Up and then it's also coming in black and Equality, which is like a 
purpley red. Okay, so here's my problem with it though. And to give them credit, they do, they have been specifying in all of their posts, the glow up color may be sheer. You can see that the double lined waistband is a totally different opacity visibly than the rest of the legging. <laughs> and sure enough, when we did the squat test. Oh no. 66.7. I literally think that's the worst a pair of leggings has ever scored. Anything under an 80% does not pass, not squat proof. So this is so far below. Like, okay, let's just let's just set the stage here real quick. We have this light, this light for TikToks, this light and this light. And like they don't they don't stand a chance. And then I was thinking, like, maybe my squat test is too intense. Should we film it like they out of the light? Chance. Yeah, let's just, I'm gonna turn all the lights off. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, it's, it's bad, you guys. <laughs> it's, it's it's really bad. But, and then I was thinking maybe I got the wrong size, but I got a medium. And if anything, the mediums in these leggings were like slightly too big, I have a giant butt. This is true. <laughs> but here's the thing. You might not stretch them out quite as much as I do. I mean, obviously it's not made for like. Like they'd have to be that loose in order to not to see anything. I just was not in love with the fit of the sports bra either. I'm not really sure what it was about it. It just wasn't doing a whole lot for my shape though. But I think if I would have sized down in the sports bra, it would have been a little bit more flattering. The confidential set. If you're not so much into print, but you want to spice up your wardrobe a little bit, I think you would really like these because they are a camouflage print, but it is so subtle. It's coming in NDA, which is this beautiful purple, classified, and then top secret, which is black. I got a medium in these leggings. They're not brushed at all. They're a more matte feeling legging, but they're still very soft and stretchy. They have the high seamless waistband. That is one thing that I really like about the Buff Bunny leggings is they're high waisted enough. The waistband doesn't really like roll down or fold down too bad. These particular leggings are definitely more of like a light support legging. They do fit true to size. I honestly could have maybe even done a small in these just because I do like my leggings to fit a little bit more snug. So these ones actually get a 94.2, which I'm kind of surprised that they do a little bit better than the Legacy. Still don't wear bright blue floral underwear, but if you're wearing a neutral color, you're totally fine. And the sports bra, I definitely could have sized down in this one. I got a small, could have done an extra small, which is weird. That's not the case for me with most brands, but with Buff Bunny and some of these sports bras. It is. Like this was pretty light support on me, but I think sizing down, it could have passed for a medium support. Has the removable cut pads, has kind of a lower cut in the front and then a nice simple back. And then the last piece is this crop top, which is so cute. It's really thin and stretchy, which I like. I am getting pickier and pickier with my short sleeve and long sleeve fitted tops that I wear to the gym. Cause if it doesn't move good with my body and allow me to breathe, I'm out. This one's really good. I would say the only place that it fit a little bit snug was on the arm, but I would still say that it's pretty true to size. So try to work out in these. I think it is a little bit of cardio, mostly upper body day on the schedule today. And pre-workout, we're gonna need pre-workout. <laughs> Flavor was sold out on the website and I hope it's not still or else I'm gonna be really sad. Blue raspberry, first four megawatt V2 pre-workout. Not only is it super strong, like I only ever take a fourth to a half a scoop of this. And it's like a slow burn because a lot of pre-workouts, you're like shaky, itchy and then after it wears off you just have this massive crash that with this stuff it's like a pretty consistent energy so i'm gonna link this down below you can check it out if you want to let me tell you i'm a sweater so i appreciate something that doesn't out me which the set didn't <laughs> that workout that day was like a medium impact and it was really great other than i kind of wish i would have sized down but I would definitely say if you're wanting some of these fun pastel -y colors, it's just safer to go with the tops and just stay away from the yellow bottoms and the green bottoms. This one is the Maraschino bra. I have literally probably five of these. <laughs> They've sent me a couple, but I just keep buying them because they're so pretty. They give me like Cleo Harper sports bra vibes. I really like the material. It's more of a performance material, a little bit thicker. These ones have the removable cut pads and then the really pretty V-neck cut. But my favorite part is the back, how open it is. I just think it's so pretty. And this color is so fun, especially for summer. It's also coming in the pretty yellow glow up. Onyx NCEO, which is like a navy blue. 
I do like a small in that one. I think it's just because it has a little bit less stretch than the other ones do. And then this one is the Alpha Sports Bra. I really like this one. This one's made from that really soft material and it has a lot of stretch to it. I still like how the small fits in this one though. I would say this one's true to size too. This one has a deeper V cut, which is really pretty, but definitely gives you like less support and coverage. And then the back is really beautiful. And then it has more of a long line look to it as well. So this is by no means a high impact sports bra, but it's very beautiful. <laughs> this is the glow up, but it's also coming in the Excel green and black. This is definitely one of my favorite things. The power hoodie. These are so cute. So this is coming in black, this glow up yellow, and then that Excel green. What am I, what size is this? <laughs> heck is the tag? Oh, this is a small. That makes sense. I really like Buff Bunny hoodies. They are definitely more fitted. They have a really beautiful shape to them. But honestly, when I reach for my hoodies, I tend to go for my like slouchy comfy more than my fitted ones. But I just love the details on these. They have the big pocket, the thumb holes, and then the neck is so beautiful how it has this kind of like crisscross thing happening. And the hood, the hood is so big. <laughs> New game changer. These are like the only purses that I use because the size is just so great. And the amount of storage that it has, like it has your little, hey, okay. <laughs> oh, a lot of stuff in here. I keep my other purse in my purse. Thermometer, you're 95.3, 97.8, wait, 94.1. Why is Leo always so cold? All the important stuff, you know? So you've got all of these little pouches, the zip one, place to put your phone. And then the best part is the laptop sleeve. It's padded on both sides and then it clips closed. I have a 15 inch laptop and it has like more than enough space. So you could also probably fit your like textbooks, binders, all that stuff. Little pocket here, it's usually where I put my keys or Hey, a battery. These are great. The main difference between these and the ones that they previously released is this is just more like a sleek material, a little bit more stiff. Kind of has a little bit more of like a luxurious look to it too. Okay, I have an idea and it's called, let's make a wish list of stuff that I actually want to buy from this launch. Revolution. Okay, I think I need, I think I need the business blue. Business blue legging and bra. Add that. Ooh, power hoodie, yes. Excel. Oh, do I want medium or large? <sighs> do I need the purple? I honestly don't have a lot of purple. I kind of just want the leggings though. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna try a small. <gasps> Hard on your sleep top. I'm gonna need that white. <gasps> I forgot they're doing a wallet too. Oh my gosh. Do I need the white wallet? I'm gonna say no but I'm also gonna sleep on it. Okay, that's my wish list. That's not bad, like. <laughs> you not been co-hosting a whole lot lately. What's your problem? Hopefully you found the video helpful. Maybe it helped you narrow down your decision a little bit. <laughs> like I said, you can use code HOPESCOPE at checkout to support us. And Leo and I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.